Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Students, welcome to the channel. So today in this video, we are going to discuss some questions with their brief explanation. So let's have first question. Green bones are being used commercially as a source of and the options are option A type A gelatin, option B type B gelatin, option C both or option D none. So green bones are being used commercially as a source of the correct answer is type B gelatin. So green bones are being used commercially as a source of type B gelatin. Let's discuss with the explanation part. So it is a chart which is showing that the which type is a gelatin and the source of that and the treatment and their isoelectric point. So talking about the type A gelatin the source of type A gelatin is acid bone and the treatment is acid where the isoelectric point of type A gelatin is 7 to 9 the students many a times the question ask that in competitive exams that which is the uh, what is the isoelectric point of the type A gelatin or type B gelatin so talking about the type B gelatin that the source of type B gelatins are green green bones and the treatment of is treatment is with alkali and talking about their isoelectric point is 4 to 7 where type A gelatin is having 7 to 9 so the correct answer is type B gelatin so it's all about this question so moving on the next question that Bissler napier ski synthesis is performed for the options are Option A, isoquinolone, option B, thiophene, option C, quinoline, and option D, pyridine. So, Bissler, Napierski synthesis is performed for the synthesis of isoquinolone. So, let's discuss with the explanation part. So, it is an, it is an intermolecular electrophilic sub aromatic substitution that allows the cyclization of beta aryl ethyl amides or beta aryl ethyl carbamates so the reaction is most notably used in the synthesis of dihydroisoquinolones which can be subsequently oxidized to isoquinolones so the question arises that uh, what is the uh, the bissler napier synth uh, synthesis which for which compound so the correct answer is isoquinolone. Students, you have to just uh, learn this that uh, bissler napierski rule is, is uh, for isoquinolones. So let's uh, have a look on the reaction part. That it is a reaction where, with the help of ZnCl2, the isoquinolone form. So it's all about the bissler napierski rule reaction. So moving on the next question. Drug of choice for lithium induced nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. So the options are option A spironolactone, option B desmopressin, option C amyloride, and option D hydrochlorothiazide. So, which is the drug of choice for lithium induced nephrogenic diabetes insipidus? So the correct answer is. Amyloride. Amyloride is the drug of choice for lithium induced nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. So let's have a look on a brief explanation that spironolactone is the drug of choice in hyperaldosteronism where desmopressin is used in central diabetes insipidus because it is more V2 selective where Amyloride is the drug of choice in lithium induced nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. So, hence 
the correct answer is amyloride where hydrochlorothiazide is used in heart failure hypertension or edema so the correct answer is amyloride so moving on the next question that sds page experiment is and options are option a immunoblotting option b chromatography option c electrophoresis option d none so the correct answer is that sds page experiment is about of electrophoresis so let's discuss in brief here sds page means sds sds means sodium dodecyl sulfate page means polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis so sds page is about electrophoresis so let's discuss in detail that it is a variant of polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis and, and uh, sds page is an analytical method in biochemistry for the separation of charged molecule in mixtures by their with the uh, by their molecular mass in the presence of electric field means there is a separation of charged molecules uh, based on the molecular uh, masses by applying the electric field and it uses sodium dodecyl sulfate means sds molecules to identify and isolate protein molecules so sds play uh, sds uh, plays an important role in the separation of the charged molecule let's have a look that how sds page plays an important role students with the help of a schematic diagram here we have a just systemic uh, schematic diagram with the uh, in which the first step is that denaturation with the help of sodium dodecyl sulfate and sodium dodecyl sulfate is an ionic detergent that binds stoichiometrically to number of peptide bond and leads to the separation of uh, separates on the basis of size or molecular weight where in second step we just place the mixture of protein on gel and apply the electric field so there is a separation on the basis of that uh, there is a separation of protein on the basis of charge and the digression of uh, direction of migration uh, and where the decreasing size is just uh, uh, having a, an order of uh, in third step we just stain to visualize separate bands with the help of detection techniques so it's all about the sds page so hence the answer is sds page is about electrophoresis so let's move on the next question that the range of the fingerprint region in ir radiation is and the options are option a 4000 to 3000 centimeter inverse option b 4000 to 1400 centimeter inverse option c 1400 to 600 centimeter inverse and the option d 900 to 600 centimeter inverse so the correct answer and the range of fingerprint uh, fingerprint region and ir radiation is 1400 to 600 centimeter inverse so let's discuss in detail about this that first of all we have to know about the that what is fingerprint region so fingerprint region is that the region between 600 centimeter to 1400 centimeter in an ir spectrum is known as the fingerprint region this one just try to note down that the region between 600 to 1400 centimeter inverse is known as fingerprint region and it usually contains a large number of peaks means in this range there are large number of peaks making it difficult because there are large number of peaks so it is quite difficult to identify individual peaks however the fingerprint region of a given compound is unique and therefore can be used to distinguish between compounds so let's discuss that how we how just fingerprint looks like with the help of a schematic diagram there is a comparison of a schematic diagram that this is the fingerprint region as we already discussed that there are of uh, there are different uh, so many peaks so 
more difficult to identify the compound where in compare in comparison to others that in the functional group region that is 4000 to 1400 centimeter inverse that there is a specific peak at 360 uh, 3600 of OH peak so it's so it's so that uh, hence so the correct answer is the fingerprint region is about 1400 to 600 I hope that the doubt is clear about the fingerprint region so hence the functional group or diagnostic region is used to determine the functional group present and the fingerprint region is used for structure elucidation elucidation by spectral comparison so it's all about this question and the fingerprint region so the correct answer is fingerprint region that is of 1400 centimeter to 600 centimeter inverse so moving on the next question that xylitone is useful in the treatment of asthma because it and the options are inhibits prostaglandin biosynthesis inhibits leukotriene synthesis option c inhibits leukotriene receptors and option d inhibits lipoxygenase so what is the function of xylitone and which uh, uh, what is the mechanism of action in the treatment of asthma so the correct answer is it inhibits lipoxygenase so how will it inhibits lipoxygenase we will understand with the help of flow chart so let's have a flow chart of this first of all we have to know about the xylitone that xylitone is an oral active inhibitor of 5 lipoxygenase thus inhibits leukotrienes LTB4, LTC4, LTD4 and LTE4 and the formation of the and formation used for the maintenance of treatment of asthma how it is helpful let's have a brief description that it prevents the arachidonic conversion to become an leukotriene so hence it just inhibit uh, the conversion of arachidonic uh, acid to leukotriene so the correct uh, so it inhibits 5 lipoxygenase that is that arachidonic acid with the help of uh, 5 lipoxygenase it converts into leukotriene so it inhibits lipoxygenase uh, and when the lipoxygenase uh, ultimately inhibit so there is no formation of LTA4 that is uh, leukotrienes so and what about this zephyr leucast actually it inhibits LTC4 LTD4 and LTE4 that is leukotrienes to bind their receptors so this is the mechanism of zephyr leucast and xylitone I hope the doubt is clear students so moving on the next question drug which is used for treatment of smoking cessations and the options are option A is vernicillin option B is acetylcholine option C is acetylcholine and option D is tacrine so the correct answer is vernicillin is the drug which is used for treatment of smoking cessation so let's discuss with the help of uh, explanation that it is a prescription medication used for smoking addiction those who are having the addiction of the smoking so they are just given with a vernicillin as a prescription of medication and this medication is first approved by approved nicotinic receptor partial agonist specifically and the uh, vernicillin is a partial agonist of the alpha 4 and beta 2 subtype students just try to note down this of the nicotine okay, acetylcholine receptors so it's all about the vernicillin and it is a marketed formulation that uh, the, we are just having that uh, champ picks and the film coated tablet that is of vernicillin which is used for the smoking cessation next question is 5 methyl 3 phenyl 4 isoxazoyl penicillin is options are option a oxacillin option b cloxacillin option c dicloxacillin and option d amoxicillin students don't try to uh, 
just afraid from these types of question because if you just see the question it is very simple to attempt and we just explain with the help of the structure first we have to identify that which is the correct answer so the correct answer is oxacillin 5 methyl 3 phenyl 4 isoxazyl penicillin is oxacillin let's discuss with the help of a structure how it is so the structure of oxacillin is so let's discuss that students this is a penicillin structure basic penicillin structure we have just know that it is a thiazolidine ring we just denote with the help of T and it is a beta lactam ring we just denote with the help of beta lactam ring so let's discuss that 5 methyl the 5 methyl it is based on it, it is on 5 position 5 methyl 3 phenyl means here is a, it is a 3 position and it is a phenyl and 4 isooxazole means it is in 4th position 4 isooxazole and it is complete penicillin ring so the hence the correct answer is oxacillin and the its name is 5 methyl 3 phenyl 4 isooxazole penicillin i hope student your doubt will clear from this structure that how will the iupsc naming actually uh, occur by this structure so moving on the next question ischemonin is the chief active constituent of and the options are option a tragaganth option b jala option c colophony and option d both b and c so ischemonin is the chief active constituent of jala let's discuss with the help of brief explanation that tragaganth having the chief constituent is tragaganthin and basorin so just try to note down their chief constituents where jala uh, having ischemonin of as a chief constituent which is the correct answer and the colophony having the uh, chief constituent is abetic acid and resiny so it is the so the correct answer is jala so moving on the next and last question that identify the correct sequence with respect to inductive effect and the options are option a is cf3 is greater than chf uh, ch2 f and uh, and these are the options so identify the correct sequence with respect to uh, their inductive effect so according to the inductive effect the correct answer is b and so let's have a disc uh, explanation on this that as electron withdrawing substituent is greater in cf3 means cf3 having having more electron withdrawing substituent means uh, jo, that is fluorine uh, uh, fluorine is having the capability to withdraw the electron so the, it is on based on the withdrawing capacity and it is more stable and cs3 is the least stable on one and the hence the sequence is b and the correct answer is b so it's all about this video thank you